The headlines flash. Tensions flare in the West Philippine Sea. Filipino fishermen face new harassment. Maritime standoff enters its third week. For years, these stories have shown a nation navigating treacherous waters, both literally and geopolitically. The West Philippine Sea is a lifeline for millions, now a stage for a tense drama over sovereignty and survival. Imagine a lone Filipino fishing boat, the Maria Clara, dwarfed by a colossal gray vessel, an all-too-common David and Goliath encounter. This is the daily reality for many Filipinos at sea. The need for a stronger response has never been more urgent. The Philippine government is answering that call. This isn't just about ships, it's about people, fishermen, families, and the brave men and women of the Philippine Coast Guard. They guard one of the world's longest coastlines, often outmatched but never outwitted. Their mission is vast, their resources stretched thin. Now, a new chapter begins. The Philippines is building a new class of patrol vessels. These ships are designed for the unique challenges of the region. Faster, more resilient, and more versatile. The 60-meter multi-role response vessel is more than steel. It's a symbol of national resolve. It stands for maritime security and hope for a safer future. The Philippines is drawing a line in the water. The next big ship is coming, and with it, a new era for the nation's guardians at sea. At the heart of this shift is the new 60-meter multi-role response vessel, or MRRV. This isn't just another ship. It's a leap in Coast Guard capability. Designed for the West Philippine Sea, it's a tailored solution for complex challenges. The multi-role name says it all. This vessel is built for versatility. It can patrol for days, cover vast distances, and operate in contested waters. Large enough for endurance, agile enough for coastal patrols, it's the perfect fit for an archipelagic nation. Deploying these ships sends a clear message. The Philippines is committed to defending its maritime rights. These vessels will monitor, protect, and respond, deterring threats and supporting Filipino fishermen. More than a patrol boat, the MRRV is a floating outpost of sovereignty. It's a law enforcement asset, not a warship, allowing assertive action without escalation. This ship marks the dawn of a more assertive Philippine Coast Guard. The new MRRV will be acquired through a competitive tender process. This means shipbuilders from around the world, local and international, can bid to build the vessel. Competition drives innovation transparency and value for the Filipino people. Unlike past government-to-government -government deals, this process ensures the best design for the Philippines' unique needs. It also encourages partnerships between foreign and local shipyards, transferring technology and skills to Filipinos. The result? More jobs, upgraded facilities, and a stronger local shipbuilding industry. This isn't just about buying a ship, it's about building an industry. The process ensures taxpayers get the best return on investment. The final vessel will blend global expertise with local requirements. It's a smarter, more strategic way to modernize the Coast Guard. This approach strengthens both maritime security and the nation's industrial future. To see the MRRV's importance, look at today's Coast Guard fleet. The 44-meter Parola-class ships are coastal workhorses, but limited in endurance. The 84-meter BRP Gabriela Silang and 97-meter Magbanua class are powerful, but too few and costly for constant patrols. The new 60-meter MRRV bridges this gap. It offers more endurance than smaller boats, but is more affordable and numerous than the largest ships. The MRRV is the fleet's new middleweight, able to stay on station longer and cover more ground. It creates a balanced, flexible force big ships for long-range patrols, small ones for the coast, and MRRVs as the backbone in contested waters. The Coast Guard can now deploy the right asset for every mission. The 60-meter MRRV is the missing link for a resilient, effective fleet. It's the force multiplier the Philippines needs. The 60-meter MRRV is built on four pillars, size, endurance, speed, and versatility. Its larger hull means better stability and more space for crew and equipment.
crucial for long missions. With at least 12 days of endurance, it can maintain a persistent presence in remote areas. A top speed of 20 to 22 knots ensures rapid response to emergencies and threats. The real game changer is modularity. The ship can be quickly reconfigured for search and rescue, pollution control, or law enforcement. This adaptability makes it a future-proof investment. The MRRV isn't just a patrol boat, it's a flexible platform for any mission. It's designed to meet the evolving needs of the Coast Guard. This is the vessel that will keep the Philippines ready for whatever the sea brings. The new MRRVs will transform Coast Guard operations in the West Philippine Sea. Their endurance and seakeeping allow for a constant visible presence in strategic areas like Scarborough Shoal. This presence asserts sovereignty and protects Filipino fishermen from harassment. The MRRV can respond to distress calls, document incidents, and provide a safe haven for local boats. Equipped with modern sensors, it will gather vital intelligence and monitor illegal activities. These ships are crucial for law enforcement, countering smuggling, piracy, and illegal fishing. By strengthening the rule of law at sea, the Coast Guard boosts national and regional security. The MRRV is a tool for order and justice in contested waters. It's the shield and eyes of the nation at sea. The MRRV project is a catalyst for the Philippine economy. By encouraging local participation, it creates high-quality jobs for Filipino workers and engineers. International partnerships bring advanced technology and skills to local shipyards. This isn't just about one ship, it's about building capacity for future projects. The supply chain will benefit businesses nationwide, from steel suppliers to electronics firms. The project could spark the Philippines' rise as a regional shipbuilding hub. Delivering a modern vessel will build a reputation for quality and attract future orders. The vision transformed the Philippines from ship buyer to ship builder. The Coast Guard's modernization is built on international partnerships. France, Japan, South Korea and Spain are all potential partners, each bringing unique expertise. The competitive tender draws global interest, showing the Philippines' strategic importance. These partnerships go beyond ships. They include training, technology transfer, and joint exercises. Success with the MRRV will give the Philippines confidence for even more ambitious projects. Future collaborations could include advanced patrol vessels and surveillance systems. International alliances strengthen the nation's position and ensure it never stands alone. The MRRV project is a cornerstone of this strategy, building strength through both domestic capacity and global friendship. The 60-meter MRRV is more than a ship, it's a bridge. It connects the Coast Guard's capabilities, the nation's islands, and the people's hopes. This project is about security, jobs, technology, and protecting livelihoods. It's a symbol of Filipino resolve and a commitment to safeguarding the seas for future generations. As these new guardians take to the water, they carry the aspirations of an entire nation. The MRRV will help build a safer, more prosperous, and more connected Philippines. It's a beacon of law, order, and hope in contested waters. The future of the Philippines is as vast and promising as the seas that surround it.